When I uploaded my Metopia Triggered video, parodying Nathaniel Bandy's Triggered series, which is a parody of Cinema Sins Everything Wrong With series, I thought it would do fine in terms of views and games. But it exploded in popularity and quickly, it now has over 1.5k views. So to thank you for that, I'll do it again. Except this time, I'll be a bit more positive. Mind blowing, right? Well, Bandy has also created a parallel series to his triggered called Mind Blown. So today, I'll be parodying that. Let's see how Metopia is mind blowing. In 3, 2, 1. The plot parts in Greenhorn are genuinely excellent. They fit the style of Metopia incredibly well, and I wish the other two starting worlds had equally good stories. And outside of the starting three worlds, Karkatan also has some great plot parts. It was a very smart idea to have your allies' faces stolen, in my opinion. Oh my god, the Dark Lord has puns! These things just lift my spirit, but in a dark way, you just have to face it. Well, the main game is pretty repetitive, the post game is pretty fresh, considering you assign your own goals and accomplish them in your own ways. And even if the goal is the same across multiple playthroughs, the path you take to get to that goal is always different. It's a good deal of fun. The jobs in this game are really well made. All of them are fun to use and are really well balanced. There is even a variety of unique personality traits you can pick from that also impact the battles, sometimes even in major ways. Am I the only one who realized that a cautious thief using finisher practically stabs enemies like a serial killer? But no, really, I never thought I could play as stuff like cat stinks and a f battling flower. The personalities aren't just for extra passives though, they add a sizable amount of, well, personality to the memes. Different dialogue, different animations, and much much more. This is the only game I know that has dozens of inns practically everywhere and monsters only attack you thrice. Good job there guys. Good job, good job. Why do I like stubborn me's? Is it just an appeal thing? I don't know. It's nice to see pop stars winking during their job pose or victory pose for simplification. Little touches like these are so damn appreciative sometimes. The friendship system is really nice. It gives a much bigger reason to keep party members alive than most turn-based RPGs. And the sprinkles, as well as the safe spot, are great additions to the game, with the hyper sprinkles specifically being broken, but in a fun way. Speaking of the hyper sprinkles, the status effects in this game are genuinely pretty charming. Sure, most of them are turn-preventing statuses, but a good chunk of the more prominent ones are indeed quite neat, whether they're negative or not. Besides Nightmare? The enemies in this game are really well designed, and very few enemies are generic, if any are at all. The events that happen while exploring, as well as those that happen in the inn, are pretty fun, and pretty funny as well. Okay, they don't make me laugh, but that's because I played this game like 14 times, so give me a break. Your Mies can buy each other cars. In an event where a random gift is easily carried by them. And how some of them can remain obese? Well, that's a question that will never be answered. The music. Okay, I'll explain. The soundtrack in this game is phenomenal. Oh, I kid you not, 204 tracks are incredible and very energetic which fits the style of this game beautifully. It's a piece of art, really. And on the topic of art, this game's selling point is genius. For your team and your enemies, you can basically use anything in this game, ranging from using friends, family, anime, memes, and more. The possibilities are truly endless. And on top of the idea, the execution was killer. That was a pun. The weapons and clothing pieces look great, and the appearance editing feature is perfect for customizing a me. That's how my me came into his current form after all. I mean seriously, who doesn't want to use stuff like food or toys as weapons? 
In addition to the customization features I've already shown you, there are grub boots in this game. Eating the grub you get from either killing enemies or as loot from chests or quests will give you a permanent stat buff in a specific stat. That also becomes much easier if the meat eating the grub likes the grub more and harder if they hate it. I wish I could max out every stat with the grub boost and for it to function more like Eevees and Pokemon, but it's still a nice addition. This game runs at a smooth 60 FPS. When I found out about that, I was astonished considering how much content there is in the game, but the big end pulled through. I like the amiibo clothing. It's not a lot from amiibos, although game tickets are always nice, but it's a fun addition. Speaking of amiibos, making a cat wear a dress from amiibos unlocks a new job. Cat but a bullet! No seriously, look at this walking animation. Amiibos clothing make for such bizarre looking characters and I love it! The descriptions for all of the grubs are entertaining to go through. Give them a read, you won't regret it. Well, the name is nothing unique, the Darker Lord was a really good idea. A little plot twist that changed everything you know about the villain in Metopia. Well, this was certainly fun to go through. I hope you enjoyed this video, and in the meantime, be sure to like and subscribe, as well as share this video or channel to those you love. Or, maybe watch out Nathaniel Bandy's channel, the guy I'm parodying. And well, that's it!